Welcome back. So I think now it's time to actually start working with creating our entities for the order, right? So I want to create those in the database now. So when I add an order, I want to just try and add it to the database. And I also want the relation, right? So I want to be able to send something like this. I have a post request right here. I want to be able to send a new order, post an order right here with the order date, the delivery date, and then the actual reference to the customer. I want to be able to do that. Now, looking at my code right here, let's have a look at the customer, uh, the order service. I've kind of explained to the system, you're not allowed to create an order unless you have a customer. And we'll keep that because that makes sense. But I am going to comment out for now, just to show a point right here, I am going to comment out uh, line 30 to 31 right here, because that will mess up a point I'm going to make in a second. We'll get it back, don't worry. But what I'll do is I'll try and actually create the order now. Pretty much, let's just go through the code just to kind of do a recap right here. I'm going to hit a post request right here. That's what I'm going to do. Send a post request, send over an order, right, with the customer ID in it. It's going to be converted right here into an order with a customer inside it. So we're going to end up with an order with the customer of ID, in this case, one. And then I'm going to send that down my system. First, I'm going to send it to the order service. Let's try and jump in there. Now, if you go to the interface, you can right click the interface and say go to implementation. And then you'll go to the implementation class. And here we go. Now we're going to check if everything's okay. And then we're going to create the order in the repository. Let's just dump there. Again, I end up in the interface. I'll right click and I'll actually go to the implementation again. I have two to pick from. I'll pick the order repository. So now we're all the way down here. And I pretty much just save the order and return the entity when I'm done saving the changes. So let's just see if this works. Jumping over to Postman. So first of all, I have a small get request right here. Let's just make sure that there's a customer of one. Yes, he's here and he has a few orders already. So I'll add a new order and I'll point to customer one. And again, I just prepared a small post request right here for creating a customer. Let's try and do the send and see what happens. I get an exception back. Now, that's kind of confusing. Why do I get an exception? I just add a, a order right here and a relation to the customer. Why would I get an exception? And again, there's not a lot of information in Postman. So I have to jump into my console and see what the exception actually is. Now, when you look for exception, look for the red areas. There's something here, it failed. So what failed right here, I can see the SQL error right here, unique constraint failed for customer ID. Now, I already know what the problem is. It's because the DB context, right, the context of the system, it doesn't know that the customer already exists in the database. That's the problem. Right? So the context is blank again. Now what we did is we send in a customer like this. So now the context thinks that this customer should now be added to the system. So he expects, okay, so he's sending in a customer. Well, maybe that's because he wants to create a new customer with the ID of one. That's of course not what we wanted. We wanted to add an order with a relation to the customer with the ID of one. Okay, so let's just have a look at how we can fix this because we need to somehow explain to the entity, uh, sorry, to the context that the entity of customer already exists. And we can actually do that by saying context.attach, right, attach. And then we're just going to say order.customer. Now we've explained to the system that this order, he already exists in the database, so you don't have to recreate him. So again, because of the DB context is in disconnected mode right now, we have to again explain to the system that this guy already exists and that's how we do it with the attach for now. We'll change this later, but I just want to show you one way to do it because you'll probably see the attach a lot. Now I just want to make a small test right here that there's actually a customer so it's not null because if we try to attach an all value, you'll probably get an all reference exception. So should say not null, there we go. So now we pretty much just saying if there's a customer in the order, then attach him because I don't want you to recreate him again. Let's try and restart this just to see that it actually runs now. And again, you have to understand that the reason we have to do this is because the context is blank. And if we don't explain to the system that the customer already exists in the database, it's going to try and recreate the customer with the ID of one. And then we of course get an exception because we're not allowed to use the ID one for a customer again, since it is a unique ID for customer. But let's try now. Let's try and do ascend. And you notice right here, we're getting back uh, a reply that we just added a uh, order, it got ID four and it references to customer one. Let's try and get customer one back and you'll see now he has order four as well. So it worked, yay! But what about the thing I commented out? Let's just try and comment that back in and see why that is important. Let's just try and remove that, there we go. So I just comment this back in where we just kind of make a check that the customer exists in the database, right? Let's try and run this again. 
So the code is running, let's just try and fire this again. And you'll notice right here, I get another exception right here. The instance of NC customer cannot be tracked because another instance with the same value is already being tracked. You might see this exception, so I just want to mention it. Next time we're going to fix it. See you next time, have fun.